Welcome back to Fox 43 AM Live. Join us now is Mickey Bircher with Vallejo Behavioral Health Care talking to us about the mental health first aid class happening next week, Tuesday, June 11th. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> um, so to start out, just um, tell us about this uh, class that's going on now. Yeah, mental health first aid. I like to say it is it's exactly what it sounds like. It is first aid, but for mental health. Mm -hmm. um, I kind of try to talk about it like if we're walking down the street and we see that someone is having a heart attack, we generally know what to do, which is call 911. Yes. <laughs> Maybe administer CPR if necessary, those kinds of things. But what do we do when a coworker, a friend, a neighbor is having a mental health challenge? Mm -hmm. And a lot of people struggle with that. So mental health first aid is a class that helps people to understand what we do when we notice that someone is having a mental health challenge. Okay, yeah, so I guess in this class, what will we, will what will we be able to learn uh, then? Like, will we be able to see the signs of, say, our neighbor is struggling through something? Will we go, oh, I think something might be up? Yeah, absolutely. So a big chunk of the class is talking about signs and symptoms. What are things that we're looking out for? As well as when do we start taking action? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. sometimes people have signs and symptoms for very something really short term. Like if you have a newborn, you're going to be tired. You might be a little disheveled, like you're adjusting. So, um, but <laughs> it tells you about like when you start noticing them for this amount of time mm -hmm. or if it's impacting their lives in this way, we're going to start reaching out more, offering resources. And then how do we know when those signs and symptoms are turning into an actual crisis okay. situation and how do we handle that crisis situation and what resources do we connect them okay. to? Right. I because that's that. a, yeah, that's, a, it's a different dynamic than someone having a physical health crisis because usually someone in physical health crisis is willing to accept help right away and then someone in mental health you know they might have some sort of ideas about you know what they should share or shouldn't share or right. or um, you know have be fighting some sort of stigma you know Absolutely. Uh, so I'm sure that especially like knowing when to act is going to be an essential part of this first aid. Yeah, and we talk a lot about approach too. Mm -hmm. How do we approach it? What type of language do we use to make sure that we're not adding to stigma mm -hmm. on all those types of things? It's a really good course. Um, it is a national course um, that we have to be certified to be instructors in. I'm actually an instructor myself. And so um, there's a lot of good material in the curriculum and I highly recommend it. Wonderful. So what's this class look like? I understand half of it's virtual, right? So we have a couple of different class structures, but the ones that we offer to the public for free are called hybrid classes. So there is a little bit of pre-work. Mm -hmm. You have to log on to your um, learning system and there's about two hours of stuff you do before you come in for the instructor-led portion, which is in person at Vallejo in our conference room at the 330 Oakley building. Um, so you do your pre-work any time before class, then you come in for, um, it's about six hours of content plus there's a lunch break so it's a seven hour class and then after class there's another hour of additional mm -hmm. just kind of tests and things that you do to get your certification so attendees actually do get a certificate stating oh, wow. that they are a mental health first aid. Oh, that's wonderful that's great yeah and, it, and the class is free right yes the public classes that we offer mm -hmm. once a quarter are free to the community and that is there's no strings attached I actually get a lot of calls is it really free yes <laughs> it's really free um, you just have to do the work and if you um, want to Sign up. It's super easy. You just go to Vallejo Topeka org slash M H F A, and um, or you can click on the education tab, and you'll be able to navigate to the mental health first aid page to sign up. And are these, is this the first time these classes are being offered, or have you offered them before? Vallejo has offered them for quite a few years. Um, we took a break during 2020, like so many people yes. did. Um, so, and then there was a shift to some virtual classes for a while. But we think that in-person learning tends to be better for people in our community, at least. So. So um, they've really picked up again recently as we've been able to um, market it more and get the word out and have more instructors come in like myself. Mm -hmm. so. That's fantastic. And you, so you mentioned uh, it's it's for free once a quarter for the public. So, but every class is the same throughout the year for these once a quarter classes. So if you say we missed this one on the 11th, don't worry, it's going to come back around again to for you a second chance to again learn more about your mental people's mental health and how to help people out there. Absolutely, it is a standard curriculum each time we present. Um, your certification lasts for three years. So sometimes, um, if you want to keep that certification, you can come back in three years. It'll be updated material probably by then because um, national council that puts together this. Program, they update it frequently, but it is the same material from class to class. So on June 11th, we'll present the mental health first aid curriculum, and then on September 13th, which is the next one, it'll be the same classwork. Um, so it's just there for anybody who wants it. 
Fantastic. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> well, Mickey, thank you so much for joining us this morning and let us know about this valu valuable class really is because again, like we, we, the stigma over mental health, we, we miss it. We just, we turn a blind eye to it sometimes mm -hmm. and we really shouldn't be. So it's great that we're getting educated and learning more and how to, to help our neighbors, help with the friends and family in our lives. Yes. And of course, everybody, again, if you want to learn more, head on over to vallejotopeka.org.